I feel like that the reason why policing is the way it is is because there's a particular view that we have of human nature. I believe that you mentioned it as like kind of a Hobbesian view of human nature. Of course, Hobbes was a was a philosopher, um, a writer, and in England back in the I believe the 17th century, um, he had this view, and of course he was famous for his his phrase, you know, life is nasty, brutish, and short. And he believed that human beings were these brutish, nasty animals that, in order to kind of control our worst, el our, our the worst elements of our nature, they had to be managed by a very powerful state. Um, and I think that what what research has been done is that that is in fact not an accurate view of human nature at all. Um, so I guess to ask you the, to this question is how does morality and um, I guess our view of human nature play into how police act and how police policy works? Yeah. So we've come to, or I should say uh, the political class, the police, have come to view poor people and people of color through this Hobbesian lens, that the only thing they'll understand is brute force, threats, and coercion, and that left to their own devices, they'll run rampant in the streets. But this view is really limited to that population. They don't take that attitude about wealthy, leafy suburbs. So it has a very racialized tinge to it that is part mm -hmm. of the problem here. And the broken windows theory that you mentioned is really uh, the heart of this philosophical orientation because the theorists behind it ascribe to these ideas very firmly that, that poor people in particular cannot be trusted to run their own affairs that if you try to give them improved services, they'll just ruin them, and it won't make any difference. And the only thing they'll understand is heavy-handed, invasive surveillance and coercion by police. And so the poor are poor because of their laziness and their moral inferiority, and what we need is heavy-handed policing to get them to behave in proper ways and become productive members of society. It's very similar to the impulses behind the creation of urban policing in London in the 1820s, that, that there is this working class that's misbehaving and that we have to shape them into what we consider to be productive members of society. And the idea that people would be able to self-organize if they had more resources and more economic stability, this just never occurs to them. And so this mindset leads to a broad criminalization of the poor. And it's not just about a few high profile shootings. It's about which, which is really just the tip of an iceberg of over policing of millions of completely unnecessary and generally counterproductive encounters between police and the population that just breed resentment and that don't really solve the underlying kinds of problems that drive community crime and disorder. Mm -hmm.